Hi guys, today we're going to talk about imaging after a head injury or concussion. So the way you sustain your head trauma is really going to dictate what kind of imaging is most appropriate for you. When it comes to head injuries, one of the things we really want to make sure is, um, depending on the extent of your injury, is to make sure that you don't have any internal bleeding. So if it's a more severe accident and let's say that there's suspicions that this could be a problem, the imaging of choice will be a CT scan. However, everyone always asks, well, what about an MRI? Typically speaking, MRIs aren't necessarily used in those acute settings of a head trauma. Um, so that's not really what you'd be looking for in terms of uh, special imaging. However, sometimes when you have a patient who has, let's say, a sustained head injury or head trauma over a longer period of time, that might be one of those images that might kind of be um, provided to you later on the road when you're kind of looking to see is there anything else that might be going on there. Um, when it comes to x-rays, x-rays themselves wouldn't be particularly important in this situation other than to make sure, um, let's say you're in maybe a motor vehicle accident and you had your concussion, well, we would maybe order an x-ray to make sure that there's no, no fractures that maybe have gone unnoticed or undetected from the accident itself. So those are kind of the essential of the diagnostic imaging. However, right now, there's no real imaging itself or special imaging uh, more so that can specifically diagnose um, or identify the concussion itself. Um, so if you're looking to get that diagnosis through imaging, that won't be the case, but the special imaging can be extremely helpful uh, to help kind of uh, eliminate those suspicions of potentially more dangerous uh, outcomes or more dangerous situations that would need more of that immediate action to kind of help you out.